During my time with Mela, I've met some incredible people, including a number whom the able-bodied world would call physically challenged. My experiences with them have made me wonder if we so-called able-bodied people aren't handicapped by our own inability to recognize the abilities and potential of those whom we perceive to be different. Tanusha Naidu is an enterprising young woman who focuses on making the most of people's abilities. And she chatted to Kriya about what this entails and what inspires her. Tanusha Naidu is always up for a challenge. And despite being born blind, she set up her own business with a vision of promoting the employment of people with disabilities. She also totally and truly believes in what the company stands for and what it hopes to achieve in bridging the gap and closing down the barriers, or knocking them down rather, knocking down the barriers of misperceptions and ignorance around differently abled individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, the lady of the moment, Abel's founder, Tanusha Naidu. Communication between blind and deaf people can be a bit challenging. Can you guys imagine that? But you know something that I've learned? Nothing is impossible. Technology today is amazing. We were using our phones and chatting, <laughs> even though we were sitting right next to each other. This has caught the eye of mainstream media. Tanusha Naidu took it upon herself to help bridge the gap between disabled and able-bodied people. How are South African companies doing when it comes to integrating those with disabilities into the workplace? Companies need to understand how to deal with differently able people. We all have goals and aspirations that we want to achieve, but being able to supersede those is something to be admired. Today we meet an exceptional young woman who has gone beyond to achieve her dreams. Tanusha was preparing for a portfolio shoot with photographer Kavish Rajpal behind the lens. A variety of looks had been conceptualized each one based on a style by designer Harun Hansrott. Tanisha, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You look absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Chris. So tell me about the photo shoot we're on today. What we're doing today is creating a portfolio for myself and my business. And we're going for three different looks. A very glamorous look, casual look, and a kind of semi-casual smart. So do these looks fit into your normal style? It does, it depends on where I'm going and the kind of look that it requires. I love the casual look, but if I need to go out somewhere fancy or a nice function or a wedding or a party, then I like dressing up as well. I love the fact that you have a look for every occasion in your life. It seems that you really do love life. I think my approach to life would be enjoy every minute of it. I'm a really fun-loving person. I think I like enjoying every opportunity that life has to offer. Well, I'm not going to interrupt your photo shoot any longer. I think we should get you into your second look. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Great, let's get going. <laughs> Creating a look involves a joint effort by the entire team, with makeup emphasizing the features of the model and the outfit, while also being optimized for the camera. So Kavish, what are we doing with this look? Uh, I think we're going like high glamorous now, sort of like a Vogue type look. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll look amazing against this backdrop. And the dress? Stunning, stunning, <laughs> really stunning. Okay, yeah, that's perfect, Tanisha. Maybe turn your head to the right. Absolutely beautiful. How stunning is that photo? Amazing. Tanisha, you look like a queen. <laughs> so tell me about the business you started. The company that I've created is called ABLE Consulting. ABLE being an acronym for Ability Beyond Life's Expectations. What does the company do? What ABLE does is it places differently abled employees into the workforce. We train them if there's any mobility or orientation that's required. Legislature states, according to the Employment Equity Act, that 2% of the workforce should comprise of differently able people. So our objective is to help companies adhere to that. What made you want to start ABLE? It is close to my heart because me being differently abled, being blind, I understand the challenges that people face with uh, regarding finding employment. For her next look, Tanusha went ethnic. 
So now one of the things that I struggle with is tying a sari. And I heard that you can tie one in two minutes flat. I can. Okay, so you're gonna show me? I'm gonna show you. Okay. All right, so you oh, start with that way. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna start with the pleats. Okay. Okay, so you start on the back end of the pleats. Mm -hmm. So how did you learn how to do this? My mother actually taught it to me because I had to go to India. We went for a youth conference. Okay. And then I had to wear a sari every day. And there you go. You look absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to get out of your way so you can carry on with your photo shoot, okay? So you're going to walk with me this way. There you go. All right. Kabish wanted to capture the rich texture and detail of the sari. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So what did you want to get out of today's shoot? Well, for this particular look, I was trying to create this symmetry because there's a lot of texture in the image and I'm trying to make Tanusha like stand out from the background. Mm -hmm. But putting it against the chandelier literally makes it like pop out. What makes today so special for you? I love working with inspiring people and that's what it's all about. It's all about like inspiring other people, altering their perspectives and that's what makes the world greater. You majored in languages. What languages did you major in? I studied a Bachelor of Arts Multilingual Studies degree, BA Multilingual, and my majors were French and Isizulu. Can you tell me something in Zulu? I can greet you and say, Saubona Kriya. Saubona. I have no idea how to reply to that. I can say, Gisapila. Gisapila. With your love for languages, you also love traveling. I did, and it does come in handy when you travel overseas, um, and if you understand a bit of the language. So we traveled to Egypt in 2006, and somebody questioned me, what are you going to do? You can't see the pyramids. But I touched the pyramids. I stood on them. I went into all of the tombs. And these experiences are always to cherish. So in other words, people have a perception of differently abled people. Their perceptions are that we can't do anything. You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't use a cell phone, you can't use the internet. But I can do all of this. How do you perceive the world? Seeing the world per se with your eyes doesn't necessarily mean that you see the world. We use our eyes for all the wrong reasons. We use them to judge, we use them to discriminate. And by not being able to see, I take in people's personalities. I feel their resonance. Um, you know, I have a heart-to-heart -heart connection with people. You are quite close to your family. They are very supportive. The support structure that I have is the most incredible blessing in my life. Starting off with my parents, who have raised me and not sheltered me or secluded me. My siblings, my sister-in-law. I have so much of friends and family who are so supportive. Where do you see yourself in five years? I want all companies to adhere and surpass the Equity Act target of having 2% employees. I want to encourage more differently abled people to come out of their shells because we are different and we are special and we should be proud of it and not want to fit in. Now, I heard that you are quite a chef. Cooking is actually one of my passions. It's what makes me the happiest. And to say thank you to everybody, I've actually brought along roti and paneer, which I've prepared, and I would love for you guys to try it out. And you brought your family along. Yes, they are. Well, let's go meet them. Meeting the family around the table, it was clear that they provided a loving mix of support and understanding for Tanusha's spirit of independence, while also appreciating her abilities and potential, not to mention her talents in the kitchen. Vinja, I've heard that you absolutely love your sister's curry, and one curry in particular. The mutton curry. It's absolutely divine. <laughs> what makes it so special? I think it's uh, the love that she puts into the food. Do you have a message for the viewers? My message to the viewers is that everyone is different and everyone is special in their own way. And everyone has something different to offer. Um, the world would be a boring place if we were all the same. I think that's why God created differently abled people. And it also serves as an inspiration. So never take things for granted. Be happy with what you have. Always be content. And make the most of every single moment that your life has to offer. Tanusha's example forces one to question the concepts of ability and disability, whether they are polar opposites or just a matter of perspective. <laughs>